My last full day. WTU. Anyway, bike shop. Pretty drive wild in a mother. They actually do have wrecks out this month. Them niggas got bikes on bikes on bikes. These niggas got up some bikes around this month. Shout out to everybody. Quanto Quistos. We out. Yo, it's me, Drees. PV that I started, and I ain't even left the apartment. I'm a little bit late. I'm hoping I don't miss my flight. I'll see y'all when I get in. I'll start editing the day. This is Drees. And I was in Medellin again. One last look. I think I found my paradise. I think I'll be returning here, probably before I go anywhere else. You know all it is. I came here, I did my first real estate tour, did my first uh, venture outside of Medellin, the Santa Fe. This is a major accomplishment for myself, as well as other brothers in the group, World Travelers United. And it's all about WTU. I done cried, my PVD done set in. Even though I'm not spiritual, thank the creator for allowing me to bring 15, 16 brothers together. Of course, allowing us to uh, continuously have a good time. You know, I just wish things could have been a little bit more together. Overall, I had no problem. I'd like to take the time to give a shout out to WTU, all the brothers in Colombia, uh, all the brothers in Philippines, I had a great time. Once again in Medellin, really no problems. I got shook down by the police, but that was just based on something else that was happening. Nevertheless, I'd like to also say thank you to uh, Brother Sam Matthew and to everybody in WTU that was in Columbia. I think we owe Sam a little something. You know, Sam is a generous person and coming from Louisiana, ain't too many of them. I don't give a shit what you go through, I'm rocking with you. Something I want to present to the group is talking about uh, pooling resources. Hopefully by the time we uh, return, we will have been able to have pooled enough resources to make a purchase on something. Timeshare, a plot of land, or something. That way when we come here, we can splurge even more. Shout outs to Ace, Richie Rich. Uh, shout out to the dentist that helped me get my uh, cavity removed. I don't know how the fuck y'all did that, but it'll be completely different in America. Yo, Medellin, we're gonna miss you. Until I get back. Leave that shit. That motherfucker fine. And I'm going live. The reason why I go live is the simple fact that you have a lot of subscribers who push the people that they subscribe to into the limelight. Me, I'm looking forward to shine some of that light back on the subscribers who put you in that limelight. That's it. Royal, royal, royal illness in the building. Lecture to Kentucky, born and raised. WTU, we out of here, man. World Travel United. What we gonna do? Well, seems like you just had your first trip to the west side yeah. of the Caribbean. Yeah. Now, is the west side better than the east? I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. Dominican Republic. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But this joint right here is a little bit, it's, it's animals, kind of a different beast right here, man. Number right. one, you have the, uh, the same beautiful women, you know what I'm saying, with respect to the Dominican Republic. Beautiful women all around. But here, man, it's like, it feels like they falling out the trees, man. I, I, I have to say it like that. But that's number one. Number two, the scenery, the environment, you know what I'm saying? The city is massive. The city is sprawling. It's so much so that I haven't been able to get into things that I'm going to have to take one or two other trips to be able to do because it's that massive. You know what I'm saying? 
we spent most of our, well, I spent most of my time in Park Yetas, Texas Domingo, and Comuna 13. Peace to all of those departments. But it's so much more to, to this Medellin, Colombia, man. For real. Now, I spotted you in the favela. Well, they don't call it a favela here. I spotted you in the barrio. Barrio Santo Domingo. How did you like that for the first time? Man, the people treated me with such respect. Like, first off, well, I've said it before in other videos, any preconceived notions that you got about, like, going to, like, you know, the uh, barrios or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You need to, like, put that aside, put that aside, put that aside, unless you actually been there. Because the world will have you uh, realize or have you believe that, like, going to these type of places that you, uh, in some type of place where you're going to get shot up, gunned down, and stuff like that, which, you know, is violence everywhere. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. But when, when I was there, me and my brother, Drees and, and, and J-Dub and, and Ron was there, man, I got nothing but love. That's about it. That's about it. But definitely, you What's going on, fellas? Man, get to Medellin, man. Paradise, paradise, paradise on earth. I'm trying to catch up on some sleep now, man. Drake's caught me in the middle of a nap. It's all good. But get here, man. Buy a plane ticket. Whatever you gotta do, man. Get to Medellin. Where else you been out of the country? Peru, Europe. How is Peru? Peru's dope, Peru's dope, but the, the women aren't as pretty. All right, it's, all right. It's, 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 it's dope, it's a cool city, shit's cheap out there. You know, you can fuck with some chicken, but just the quality of the women are really yeah. slim. So, I don't know, just depend on, your, depend on your preference. Depend on what you like. Exactly. You know, I plan on coming back to Medellin. Oh yeah, May. oh yeah, I, I, shit, I might be back next month, I don't know. Can you hold out to me for me, dog? Yeah, hell yeah. Pop. Yo, it's me, Grease. And it's almost about that time for me to take to the sky. I love all y'all, man. And I look forward to coming back here. That's it. I'm on my way to the plane. I got the go. This is Dree. In Medellin, part two. You already know.